Hi everyone and welcome to my mansion. This is where I sit and think about how much I love being a sorority girl. This is where I sit to plan all of the themes for our sorority parties. This is where I lay in bed and rot watching Grey's Anatomy after all day memorizing sorority bylaws. And this is where I go to bed after a long day of being a sorority girl. Hopefully I have great dreams with all my sorority sisters. Now, if you didn't know, I live in a sorority house and it is so amazing. But for real, if you didn't know, I do live in my sorority house and one of my favorite things to tell people is that I live in a mansion. I love to be like, yeah, I just live in a mansion. I have my private chef, my house cleaner. I think it's really, it's really funny because honestly, like, I live in a gigantic house. 50 people can live here and do almost. And sometimes I forget that because like it's very large, but it doesn't always feel big because there are so many people. So I really just had to take advantage of that experience and the sorority house experience. And yeah, so today's video is gonna be a little room tour. This is it from above I'm on my bed. Now as you can see, like it's very large. It fits eight people. Thankfully, there's only four of us here. I'll go more to the, like, it's a very large room, so we all have plenty of space. And not only is it a large room, but since there's only half the amount of people, we all get, like, double. So instead of just getting one bed, we get the entire bunk set. Instead of just one desk, we have two. So let's get into the tour so you guys can see a little bit about my life in my sorority house. So starting off when you enter, there's this little hallway and i guess we'll start this is my first desk this is more like my storage desk i don't usually sit here but i just have like some tissues some toiletries some photos of my little family and friends um lots of pens and then a vision board this is what i use to manifest my success in college all those things to make my sorority life perfect and then i just have like junk in the drawers. I don't really know. I don't really use any of this stuff. I don't know why I have it. And then if we turn around, these are my two closets. So let's start with the first one. They're very spacious. This is closet number one. And there's like some hooks on the doors that I hang some purses. I have some sweatshirts, jackets, and some shoes. These are my snacks, don't worry, I never put them by my feet. And then I have some clothes in here, pajamas, you know, jeans, they're a little stuffed. But definitely very spacious. And then here I have some other things hanging. Closet number two is similar. I have like sweaters, jackets hanging on the side. And then there's more hooks on the doors. And I have like all these drawers again my laundry hamper and then there's also these up top where i keep like my suitcases and some other things in that one as well and if i'm being honest this is probably the best room in the house to have i know it sounds like a lot of people but like the other rooms are not as spacious as this most surprising part per se is the mall you're maybe like what's the mall this it is move out so ignore the mess but we have this is probably like 12 closets here and we share it with this other eight girl room our big mirror ignore my outfit and it just fits so much stuff here's like our cleaning supplies in here so as i mentioned before we all have like one set of bunks and all of us sleep on the top because this is how much space we have on the bottom bunk like it is not very high at all which is unfortunate when people are forced to sleep here but instead we all we put some sheets and pillows to make it like a little personal couch so during the day when I'm in my outside clothes I come and I lay on my little couch I watch Grey's Anatomy I wonder how much I love sorority life. That is the bottom bunk. 
and then we have some drawers down here which like are super nice I just have like all this <laughs> random stuff this is all my I guess going out <laughs> stuff and then we also have the top bunk a lot of stuff in here that's just random and then I have my top bunk and I wanted to show you guys how I get on because I think it's super cute and fun let me see if I can do it ready get my shoes off you know it that's actually I really do just climb up this railing to get on that is a lot of work and I'm out of breath but I do get off like this I slide down because I feel like crawling down this railing is a little tough and I'm a little scared it's the same decor that I've had since freshman year the same little blanket, the same little posters, but I do feel like it's very cute. And yeah, the top bunk is honestly ideal because there is so much more space up. Well, I have this, but so much more space and you can see like, you can totally sit up with all this room above our heads. The only thing is like, there is not a railing up here. You just roll right off like you're just in bed and then suddenly <laughs> and now for like kind of the last part i guess i'm gonna show you guys my last de my last desk this is the one where i do pretty much all of my work when i'm in the room i have this chair where i put my backpack and then i have this space and oh wait don't look at this because i don't want you to think that sorority girls actually study we don't, just because it's finals doesn't mean I'm doing work. Look over here instead. These are my crystals and this is what I use to get good grades. So basically what you do, and this is how I've gotten through college, is you take your crystals and you say, I got all A's, I got all A's, I got all A's, and you do. So don't be fooled when people say you have to study it to get good grades because you don't you really don't and if you want me to make a video about getting good grades with only crystals and manifestation let me know okay okay so all this boo hockey about the kidneys and the nephrons and digestion and diabetes like it's all in here and all that is going to go into me so back to the tour this is where i have my ipad and again it's not used for studying it's used for Grey's anatomy watching but i do have this little um vision board on it so you can see like medicine because Grey's anatomy is helping me become a doctor and i have like some ugh, stop turning off some workout some like fun college things you know like look like party because i'm a sorority girl and we all party a lot all the time that's why i also need my crystals because who has time to study when you're just partying like a sorority girl and again <laughs> this is like the same decor as freshman year and sophomore year but i have my little mirror and my salt lamp and then some chargers i have this stick and much to my roommate's dismay like it is from a yard my yard and my mom was so kind to like put these little pins in it so that I could hang my jewelry. But like it did come from a real tree in our yard. Some earrings here and all my skincare, like hair care, things like that. And then here I have a little incense muñeca sin rostro that I got when I studied abroad. Prints that I think, I just really like the colors of them. They're fun. And I have a little Eiffel Tower watercolor. And in these drawers, mostly have like, I don't know, makeup, hair, products, supplies. That is my second desk. And I can also include some other clips of the house because I think it's pretty cute. And there are like a lot of rooms in it. But yeah, that is the sorority, my sorority house room. And I've really enjoyed living here. I feel like it is like... A really unique and fun experience like when else am I gonna be living in a mansion with 40 other people like probably and hopefully never 
because as much fun as it was, I am super excited to have my own apartment next year. And even though I won't be completely alone, I'll have my kitchen and I can put like all this stuff in the bathroom so that my desk is a little clearer. I do feel like it gets a little messy sometimes. Hope you guys enjoyed my sorority house video. And if you want to see more sorority content, well, it's the end of the year, so you're out of luck. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And yeah, I guess I'll see you in the next one. Bye.